Clone Robotics has recently unveiled their latest innovation, the Protoclone V1, a humanoid robot that closely mirrors human anatomy. This six-foot-tall android features a polymer skeleton replicating all 206 human bones and is powered by over 1,000 artificial muscles, known as myofibers. These synthetic muscles contract under pressure, enabling the protoclone to perform movements that are strikingly human-like. What's up, guys? Alfie here with another surprising update. Clone Robotics sneak peek is shocking, and AI Nexus will cover every step of the way. Let's go. One of the standout features of the protoclone is its bio-inspired cooling system. To prevent overheating during muscle contractions, water circulates through microchannels within its frame, effectively dissipating heat, a mechanism akin to human sweating. This design ensures that the robot's high-power actuators remain functional without the risk of thermal damage. In a demonstration video released by Clone Robotics, the protoclone is seen suspended from the ceiling, its limbs twitching and moving in a manner eerily reminiscent of human motions. While the robot currently requires suspension for stability, this setup allows engineers to fine-tune its movements and gather essential data for future improvements. Despite its impressive capabilities, the protoclone's faceless design has elicited mixed reactions from the public. Some viewers find its appearance unsettling, while others are fascinated by the technological advancements it represents. Clone Robotics has stated that the minimalist facial design helps avoid the uncanny valley effect and simplifies sensor placement. What sets Protoclone apart from every humanoid robot that came before it lies in its fundamental design philosophy. Where companies like Boston Dynamics and Tesla build machines that approximate human form and function, Clone Robotics has taken the unprecedented approach of replicating human biology at the mechanical level. The Protoclone 5-1 boasts over 200 degrees of freedom, more than double that of the most advanced conventional humanoids. These aren't just joints in the traditional robotic sense, but carefully engineered analogs of human articulation, points that allow for movement patterns indistinguishable from organic motion. The robot's 1,000 myofibers represent perhaps the most revolutionary aspect of its design. These artificial muscles aren't simply servos or actuators dressed up in synthetic tissue. They're pneumatically powered fibers that contract and expand in a manner remarkably similar to biological muscle tissue. This gives Protoclone a range of motion and fluidity that rigid robotic systems simply cannot match. Early footage shows the android moving with an uncanny grace, its limbs flowing through space with none of the mechanical hesitation characteristic of even the most advanced traditional humanoids. Equally impressive is Protoclone's sensory apparatus. With 500 embedded sensors providing tactile feedback, temperature awareness, and spatial orientation data, the android operates with a level of environmental awareness approaching human proprioception. This dense sensor network creates what Clone Robotics describes as embodied intelligence, a form of artificial cognition deeply rooted in physical experience rather than abstract data processing. The technological foundations of Protoclone trace back nearly a decade to the early work of Clone co-founder Lukasz Kozlik. His 2015 prototype of a biomechanically accurate robotic arm demonstrated for the first time that human musculoskeletal systems could be meaningfully replicated in artificial form. That initial research has now scaled to a full-body system that pushes the boundaries of what we consider possible in robotics. Protoclone's current pneumatic muscle system represents an ingenious solution to one of robotics' most persistent challenges, creating strong yet delicate movement. By using compressed air to actuate its myofibers, the android achieves both the power and precision needed for human-like motion. However, Clone has already announced plans to transition to hydraulic actuation in future models, promising even greater strength and responsiveness. Perhaps most intriguing is the android's thermal regulation system. Like the University of Tokyo's Kengoro robot before it, Protoclone incorporates an advanced cooling mechanism that prevents overheating during sustained operation. However, Clone's implementation goes further, with what appears to be a rudimentary circulatory system that distributes coolant throughout the body. Yet another example of how the company is borrowing from biological rather than mechanical engineering principles. The psychological impact of Protoclone cannot be overstated. 
where most humanoid robots trigger some degree of unease due to their imperfect imitation of human features, Protoclone's faceless design somehow amplifies this effect, while simultaneously feeling more authentic. The black reflective mask serves as both a practical choice, allowing for future facial articulation systems, and a brilliant psychological trick. Our brains desperately try to project humanity onto that blank surface, creating an even stronger sense of presence than a fully articulated robot face might achieve. This effect was immediately apparent in the viral response to Clone's initial demonstration video. Within hours of its release, social media platforms exploded with reactions ranging from awestruck admiration to visceral discomfort. Dar Sleeper of One X Technologies perfectly captured this dichotomy by calling Proto-Clone the coolest and creepiest design they'd ever seen. This polarized response speaks to how fundamentally different Proto-Clone is from anything we've encountered before. It doesn't just look humanoid, it moves with an organic fluidity that triggers deep, instinctive responses. Clone Robotics plans for Protoclone reveal a carefully considered rollout strategy. The company intends to release just 279 Alpha units in 2025, positioning them as ultra-exclusive showcase pieces rather than mass-market products. This limited release serves multiple purposes. It maintains tight control over early development, creates an aura of prestige around the technology, and allows Clone to gather crucial real-world data before considering broader applications. The pricing structure for these initial units remains undisclosed, but company statements comparing them to limited-edition supercars suggest figures in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. This exclusivity ensures that early proto-clones will primarily go to research institutions, cutting-edge tech firms, and possibly high-profile entertainment projects where their capabilities can be showcased and studied. Looking further ahead, Clone has hinted at three potential development paths for protoclone technology. The first focuses on medical applications, where synthetic humans could serve as incredibly advanced training tools for surgeons and other medical professionals. The second explores entertainment and service roles capitalizing on the android's unique ability to interact naturally with people. The third, and most ambitious, envisions Protoclone as the foundation for a new generation of general-purpose androids capable of handling complex, unpredictable tasks in human environments. Protoclone enters a rapidly evolving humanoid robotics market that includes heavyweights like Tesla, Figure AI, and Boston Dynamics. However, Clone's approach differs fundamentally from these competitors. Where others focus on practical applications in industry and home settings, Clone appears to be pursuing something more ambitious, the creation of artificial beings rather than functional tools. This distinction positions Protoclone in a category almost by itself. The only comparable projects come from companies like Hansen Robotics, creators of Sophia, and Engineered Arts, makers of Ameka. But even these advanced androids lack Protoclone's comprehensive biomechanical approach. China's X-Robot and UB Tech's Una come closer in terms of aesthetic realism, but none have attempted to replicate human physiology at the systemic level Clone has achieved. Another major challenge lies in developing the AI systems that will animate these synthetic bodies. Current demonstrations show impressive physical capabilities, but true human-like behavior requires cognitive architectures we're only beginning to understand. Clone's partnership with OpenAI suggests they're taking this challenge seriously, but progress in artificial general intelligence remains unpredictable. Perhaps the most daunting obstacle is public acceptance. Proto-Clone's unveiling has already triggered strong emotional reactions, and broader deployment will likely face resistance from those unsettled by its uncanny realism. Clone will need to carefully manage this perception if synthetic humans are to find their place in society. For now, Protoclone stands as both an astonishing technical achievement and a powerful symbol of how rapidly robotics is evolving. Clone Robotics has given us our first glimpse of a future where synthetic humans walk among us. A future that's arriving much sooner than anyone expected. Whether this prospect excites or terrifies you, one thing is certain. The age of artificial beings has begun, and there's no turning back.